that trying to find a successful relationship is quite like climbing a mountain. Welcome to the relationship mountain. At the top, the successful, happy relationship. This part is a struggle to get there. There are many things that will get in your way as you try to reach the top. This is Kyle. That really nice guy that I always talk to, but he has a girlfriend. And this is Liam, that really hot guy that always talks to me, but always talks to everyone. <laughs> he, just has, he just has one thing on his mind. Player. <laughs> and that really, really nice, nice, nice guy, John, who I know really loves me. Always, forever, but he's so boring. <laughs> Meet someone that's different. Someone who you think could possibly get you up to the top of the mountain. Now let me tell you a story of when this happened to me and what happened next. So, one night, a few weeks ago, I met a guy. I had, I had been single for some time. <laughs> and I, I was in a bar with my friends and I bumped into an old colleague of mine. And as I said hello, I couldn't help but notice that he had a really hot friend with him. <laughs> so, um, his friend, his name, David, from Belgium. And as I observed, I noticed that he had many of the criteria that I desired in a man. Number one, spoke English. <laughs> Very important. <laughs> Number two, big chest. <laughs> <laughs> and number three, a confident look in his eye. Yeah. So, so, wow. And me and Dobby <laughs> talked for a long time that night, gazing romantically into each other's eyes. And I felt like we really had a meaningful connection. <laughs> and so, like, after that night, the next few days, I spent many, a lot of time like, fantasizing about all of the things that me and David would do together at the top of the mountain. Go have dinner, go to the beach, ride on the back of his motorbike <laughs> with our hot helmet making the shape of a heart. <laughs> and as we ride on his motorbike into the sunset. <laughs> but alas, many days Weeks passed and I had no text message from David and no, he didn't add me on Facebook. So I started to think like, what happened? What am I going to do? Do I really have to go all the way back down the mountain to Liam, the player? Or I could maybe text him and maybe add him on Facebook. Do you want to go? <laughs> but if I tried that, I would be so high up that if he rejected me, it would be such a long way down to the bottom. <laughs> so, no. <laughs> so, I thought, like, oh, yes, I can just stay here in my room. Um, Google, thinking like, when is he going to call on Google? I uh, like fantasizing in a world of fantasy. But then I realized that even though it's safer, if I stay there, I will never make it to the top of the mountain. So I decided that I'll, you know, I, there are other many things that I could try. Like, for example, I didn't have to go all the way down to the bottom of the mountain because all of the other guys that I had met they taught me something about myself, and they moved me upwards on the mountain. So really I would be more like here, next to John, the nice guy. <laughs> Maybe he wouldn't be so bad. <laughs> or I could meet Anima, Louis, <laughs> from France, who would carry me up the mountain so beautifully. 
And as we sat on the top of the mountain, the wee would say, Hey, look, it's David down there. <laughs> and I would say, David? Who is David? <laughs> but all of that couldn't happen if I stayed here in a safe place. So, in conclusion, trying to find a relationship is like a mountain. There are many struggles, many disappointments that you have to overcome, many fantasies to struggle. But we need to keep going because when we get to the top, with Louis, <laughs> it will all be worth it. Thank you.